really think it's any kind of secret that I love Taco Bell, like, a lot. In fact, I try not to eat most fast food, but Taco Bell is just... Girl, she just keeps pulling me back. Oh, girl. Mm. But sometimes you just don't have the motivation to go see that girl that you want to go see. Sometimes you just want her to come to you. And, I mean, this metaphor is getting pretty weird, and I don't, I don't know where I'm going with it. But, but I'm going to keep going with it, and this accent just popped out of nowhere. And I don't... I don't know where it came from. I don't know if it's gonna stay. It might. I don't know. But today was one of those days that I didn't really feel like going to Taco Bell. So I decided that I was just gonna make it at home. And this is really super simple, super easy, uh, because I'm not trying to make any of the, <laughs> dare I call them, fancy recipes that are on the Taco Bell menu. I'm just making a really simple bean and cheese burrito. And uh, anyone can do it. it. It's probably gonna take like two seconds. And, um,. Yeah. You're cute, Taco Meow. First things first, really easy. Just get out a pot, a decent sized pot. I bet it is in the dishwasher. Pot. Stove. On. And you need a can opener, quick, before it heats up too fast, quick. This is the stupidest can opener I've ever seen. What is this? What is, okay, here we go. All right, see, I got it. Drain it, put it in the pot. Yeah. You can use any kind of beans that you like. I really like black beans though. Brewed in. What? What do you want? What? This isn't tuna. I know you probably think it is because that's the only time a can opener is used. What? What? This isn't tuna. What? Come here. Yeah, I told you you weren't going to like it. I'm always scared. Cooking is always like the worst for me. If you can even fucking call this cooking. Open a can! Heat it up on the stove! Did you learn something new today? And now they're on the stove and they're heating. And I feel like this is essentially the only step. So that took like literally two seconds. Um, so now you have to move really quick after you move the turn anything to low. Heat. Low. Dirt. Words? What? this thing. Put that on the stove. And then you're going to open up your tortillas. Um, Alright, and then you take your tortilla and you just heat it up. And you just flip it over as it gets warmer. Because you're going to take your little spoon that you've been stirring with and you're just going to put it in there onto your warm tortilla. Then you're going to put your cheese on it. And then your Taco Bell sauce. This is the one thing that you have to actually go to Taco Bell for is the hot sauce. The mild sauce that they give you like extra packs of is the same sauce that they put inside of their burritos. I asked for extra sauce and now I've got a mess to clean up. Totally worth it. Got the shot. Mm. And okay now for the cool part of this show. I don't know if this is actually gonna work or not because the internet told me that it would work and you shouldn't believe everything the internet tells you but you can try what the internet tells you and see if it works. Everyone knows that Taco Bell is nothing without Baja Blast and so today we're gonna try to recreate our own little Baja Blast. So cool blue Gatorade, yeah, okay. Mm. Don't forget to keep an eye on this thing. Mountain Dew, I got Mountain Dew throwback because I like it. And I have real Baja Blast right here. That is pretty damn close. I'm really impressed, internet. You can maybe use like a Splash Morphous. Look, now it's like the perfect color and everything. Fuck yes! Oh, it's like so, so perfect. Here, try this. So, you got your one tortilla that's all hot and toasty. Mwah! Slotted spoon! Ooh, steamy, steamy. So while it's steaming, you quickly have to get your cheese so that your cheese gets all melty. And then, the hot sauce. Mild. And then you fold it. And you fold it, and you wrap it, and you turn your back to the camera, and there you have it. A perfectly beautiful burrito and Baja Blast without having to leave the comfort of your own home. I just got one big bite of tortilla. Let's try that again. <laughs> and you actually like <laughs> bite the actual burrito. Heck good. I imagine that you can 
do very many things to recreate any number of the items on the Taco Bell menu at your own home. But right now, I'm really digging the bean burrito and the Baja Blast, of course. I strongly urge all of you to tweet me pictures of your at-home Taco Bell creations with the hashtag CETWC. And um, maybe, I don't know, if enough of you send me pictures, then I will include them in my next Creating Edible Things with Katie video. I love you all, and I hope that you enjoy this as much as I do. Um, I'll see you next week. I love you. Bye. Mwah.